Hello everyone. In this video, let us learn how to generate auto increment values for primary keys in Oracle using Hibernate. Whenever you are working with the Hibernate application, it is mandatory that you need to provide an ID field. So for that, we identify a field in our entity class and annotate it with at ID annotation. Hibernate will identify this particular field and convert it into a primary key in the database table. For this particular field, we are supposed to provide the values. That is, we assign the values for the primary key. What if I want to auto increment the primary keys? If you are working with MySQL, while creating the table itself, you add one particular keyword auto increment so that the primary key is automatically incremented. In case of Oracle, for auto incrementing the primary keys, you use a sequence. Now, while working with the combination of Oracle with Hibernate, let us discuss how to generate auto increment values for primary keys. Let me go into the application directly. I have already created an application. This is my pom.xml with the Hibernate and Oracle dependencies. This is hibernate.cfg.xml which is having the database and hibernate configuration details. I have also added the mapping details here. So the entity class is employee. I have got hibernate util class which is going to give me one instance of session factory. Now let us discuss on the entity class employee. The class is annotated with at entity. I wanted to have a different table name. So I have given the table name as hiber employee. Now let me come to the property employee id. This employee id is annotated with at id annotation. If you are going to add only this annotation, it means that you are supposed to assign the values for this employee id. If you want to auto increment this particular field, you need to add one more annotation as at generated value. When you add this annotation, Hibernate understands that it has to auto increment employee id and it will create a sequence. The name of the sequence will be hibernate underscore sequence. The values will be provided from that sequence for this employee id. But if you want to have your own sequence, in that case you need to add one other annotation that is at sequence generator. This sequence generator has few attributes. Allocation size, catalog, initial value, name, schema and sequence name. So let me start with name. The name specifies a dummy name which can be mapped to generated value. So let me give the name as emp underscore sequence, comma, sequence name. This is the original sequence that will be stored in the database. Let me give the name as emp underscore sequence comma initial value initial value specifies the starting value of your sequence let me start it with one comma allocation size allocation size talks about the increment value that is the step up counter let me have this as one once you have added these details to the sequence generator now we need to map it to at generated value. Hibernate can understand only this at generated value. Based on the mapping you have given, it will go and search for that particular sequence generator or it will create that sequence generator. So let me add the attributes for generated value. Here we have got two attributes, one is generator, the other one is strategy. So generator equal to the same name that you have given here. So this is the mapping part. So when you run this application, Hibernate will go and search for a sequence with this particular name. That is the dummy name emp underscore sequence. If there is a name with the sequence generator, Hibernate will go and map itself to the appropriate sequence in the database. The sequence that is available in the database is emp underscore sequence. Okay. And now we need to tell the strategy. Strategy equal to this takes a enum generation type dot there are few values given auto identity sequence and table based on the database you are working with you need to pick and choose the appropriate value 
If you don't know the type of the database, you can give auto. If you are working with MySQL, you can use identity. If you are working with Oracle, you can use sequence. If you are working with any type of database and if you want the sequence to be created as table, you can use table. For us, as we are working with Oracle, let us select sequence. So, to generate an auto increment value for the ID field, you need to add two annotations. One is add generated value, the other one is add sequence generator. If you don't use add sequence generator, Hibernate will create its own sequence generator with the name Hibernate underscore sequence. All set now. Let me go to the main class. I have already written the code, created the employee object, using Hibernate util getting the session factory, using the factory opening the session, using the session beginning the transaction. Within the transaction, I am calling session.save and then transaction.commit. Now let us run this application. Let me maximize the console. You can see the SQL statement that are getting generated. The table is created with the name Hiber employee. The columns are employee ID, city, EMP underscore name and the primary key is EMP ID. And you also see the sequence that is getting generated. Create sequence EMP underscore sequence. We have given the initial value as 1. So start with 1 increment by 1. Once the table and the sequence are created, the sequence is getting generated and then the value is inserted into Hiber employee table. Let us see the data for this Hiber employee from the command line. Let me give describe Hiber employee, employee id, city, emp underscore name. These are the columns. Let us check the value, select star from Hiber employee. You can see the data. EMP ID is 1, city is Bangalore, EMP underscore name is Joe. In case of city, we have not reduced the column size, so it is taking 255 characters. And in case of EMP name, we have reduced the column size to 20 characters, so the length is reduced. Okay, let me try to insert one more value, Bangalore. Let me save this, let me run this again, I will maximize console. This time, because the table is already there, it is generating the sequence and inserting that value into EMP ID. Let us check the data from the command line. Select star from Hiber employee. ID is 2, city is Mangalore, name is Kathy. Okay. So this is how you generate auto increment values for primary keys in Oracle using Hibernate. That's it.